Hi, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the Vision software, the beta version. I'm going to start with the import of a new patient for which we have a dedicated button. I'm going to click the button. I'm going to input some test data. I'm going to fill in some test birthday. And we have these two buttons on the right to upload the upper jaw and the lower jaw. Additionally, the software allows you to upload all kinds of patient photos with additional X-ray set of X-rays. For this demo, I'm not going to upload all the images, but I will upload a single side TRG X-ray. This will help me to demonstrate a, a feature we have later on. I'm going to click Next to confirm that I'm saving the, the case. Depending on your internet connection, this process will require some uploading and may take a little bit of time. To give you a better idea of what's happening right now, all these data are being uploaded to the cloud so that you are able to use uh, your uploaded data later on from any other device on which you have the, the vision software installed. Once it's uploaded, the next stage is initiated, which is called jaw orientation. The jaw orientation stage is essentially there to help you to orient the imported scans to match the internal coordinate system of the software. On the top right here, we have a preview of what the software coordinate system looks like. And we see that the, the jaw, the imported jaw doesn't match. To match, we just need to click three times in these locations. The system will automatically align the jaw. I'm gonna make small adjustments, but I don't really think much, much effort here is required. So this looks good to me. Once I'm happy with the way the jaw is oriented, and I can see that it's matching the top right preview, I'm gonna click next. The next stage is the segmentation stage in which we need to indicate where the extents of every single tooth are. The little hint on the bottom left shows you where you need to click. You need to click on the distal and the mesial side of each tooth and indicate which number of the tooth you're clicking on. So I can count seven teeth here. So I'm gonna say I'm doing the 17th and I'm just gonna left click along the entire arch, indicating the ex extents, the widths of every single tooth. This manual step is required to help the software to understand where the teeth are located and their, what their extents are and also their orientations. So this is the 37th tooth. I'm gonna click here, here. I can see that one tooth is missing here, so I'm gonna skip over one. There's another one missing. And another one. This is a relatively complicated case. I see that there's, uh, I misclicked one, just to show you how to fix this. I'm gonna select the tooth that I misclicked and then fix its position. Now that I'm happy with the way two points are placed, I can click next, which will launch the automatic, automated segmentation. Automated segmentation generates a set of contours which, uh, are preview, which are available for preview here. And we see that most of them are generated perfectly fine, but there is an occasional adjustment that you need to make. And these adjust adjustments are very easy to make. You can just shift left click and drag the point where you want. You can see that the contour dynamically follows the curvature and as long as you just drag the point down, the contour will follow the ideal segmentation path. If I want to make more corrections to the path, I can do shift middle mouse click to add a new point and then make more, uh, to, to add more flexibility to the curve and get more details. There's a hole here, so the, the curve is going around the hole. Otherwise, this looks perfectly fine on the upper jaw. Let's switch to the lower jaw and see what happened here. 
this is also looking perfectly fine. I don't think there's any adjustments required. This is perfectly fine. Now that I see that the contours are perfectly fine, I'm gonna click next, which will initiate the actual cutting procedure. And the cutting procedure separates the teeth models from the gingiva model. This looks perfectly fine. If I was unhappy with the way the teeth were separated, I could, could click undo right here. And uh, I could revert to the contours and then make additional adjustments and then click next again to do the segmentation. But this looks perfectly fine to me. I'm gonna click next to proceed to the tooth orientation stage. The tooth orienta orientation stage is there to give the software uh, an idea of where the where the roots should be directed towards, so the axes of every single tooth. As you can see, like before, this step is automated, and the software looks at the geometry and also looks at the previous inputs of all the users of the accumulated data set and will gradually improve its accuracy based on how much data is provided and how much adju manual adju adjustment users make. From what I can see, this is perfectly fine, except maybe I need to make small adjustments by left-clicking, selecting the tooth I want to make an adjustment on, and then just using the gizmo to correct the direction. Otherwise, apart from these small minor adjustments, everything looks fine to me. When I'm happy, I click Next, which initiates the uh, complicated procedure in which an algorithm is first of all generating artificial roots, each of which have realistic anatomy, and also performs something called uh, uh, garbage removal. So we remove uh, artifacts, scanning artifacts in between the tooth, the teeth, pairs of teeth, in their contact areas. The contact areas usually get uh, contain a lot of artificial um, artifacts. And now that the algorithm ran its, has been run, we see that the, the interface is cleaned and the geometry of the mesh is high quality. We can also see that the gingiva model was generated and the gingiva model is uh, realistic. The shader and lighting and reflections look very nice. And this is when we reach the setup stage.